Hello, I'm George Kohlberg, Executive Chairman and Co-Founder of Kalos Therapeutics. I'd like to introduce you to our story today. Let's start with our team. You'll see we have Jay Merritt as our Chief Medical Officer. Jay was one of the first MDs into IDEC, and I'm sure you're familiar with how successful they've become. Jay was a rapid riser through Upjohn and has been in other biomedical companies like Viagene and Intrigen, which are also very successful. Mike Kozlowski is our chief scientific officer. Mike led lead optimization at Pfizer, and his biomedical experience is in Geron and Telic, very successful companies. If you'll take a second here to look at our scientific advisory board, we're led by Dr. Dan Van Hoff. You probably have seen Dan on TV with Stand Up to Cancer, but Dan is one of the hardest working oncologists in America and one of the brightest. He's developed an incredible array of drugs and he still sees patients. He loves his patients and takes great care of them. Dan understands how to work with the FDA and the regulatory people to allow drugs to be developed in new areas. That's what Kalos needed. We also have Dr. Mark Garnick. Mark now teaches at Harvard because he's recently sold his company, Prasis, to GSK. Mark was one of the first MDs to develop a peptide in cancer, and Kalos is a peptide story. You'll see Dr. Patrick Ryu, who has international renown as a chief medical officer and an inquisitive mind when it comes to developing new drugs. The Kalos approach is different. We're a cytostatic therapeutic. We take time to slow the cell proliferation down, looking at an opportunity to use peptides that circulate in your body all the time and raise them to therapeutic levels to treat cancer. No chemotherapy, no side effects, no radiation, a completely new way to treat patients the way they deserve to be treated. You may know a little bit about pancreatic cancer. That's that one you see on TV. The doctor looks at you and says, go home and get your paperwork in order, you have cancer. Less than 5% of pancreatic cancer patients survive for five years. Every year, 43,000 people are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. 38,000 of those people will succumb that year to cancer. Median survival time, 16 weeks. This is an incredibly virulent disease. Currently treated with chemotherapy and a combination of monoclonal antibodies and surgery, the outcomes are very tough on patients. Our drug is developed and made in the heart. It's an endogenous peptide. We have an opportunity to treat patients better in a less invasive way and provide an improved quality of life for them as well as shrinking their tumors. Let me tell you a little bit more about how we work. Atrial natriuretic peptide is the family of peptides we are working with. They, they're made in the heart. They're also made in your kidneys, in your shins. They circulate throughout the body, but what we're doing is leveraging nature. We take what these peptides were designed to do, control hemodynamics and hypercell proliferation. Like cancer, cells growing too quickly, and when you have abdominal cancers, you can have ascites and organ failure that cause increase in hemodynamic pressure. We can control that by raising these natural peptides to therapeutic levels in your body using a cytostatic approach as opposed to chemotherapy or radiation. Much friendlier on the patient, better outcomes. Progress to date, we've taken the natural peptide and shortened it from 126 amino acids to 37 amino acids. We've had clinical experience. This drug has actually been in patients in an investigator IND. No side effects and good outcomes. We know we're safe, we know we're less toxic, and we can change the way patients are treated. Why is a cytostatic approach important? Most people think of cancer patients emaciated, their hair is gone, they're suffering with sores and pain. That's the effects of the chemotherapy, not the cancer. By using a cytostatic, we're able to, like turning down the thermostat in your house, reduce the cellular activity, control it so that you may die with your cancer, but not from your cancer, and you'll have a better quality of life as we treat you with these therapeutics as opposed to those that are on the market now, the chemotherapeutics and targeted therapies. We also work well with those, and we've done clinical studies to see how we would work with some of the standards of care on the market will be a good fit. 
The NCI did a study saying if your cancer drug works in one type of cancer, you really don't have a new drug. We've tested our therapeutic in nine different cell lines and labs all around the world, and we've proven that we work on a number of cancers, breast cancer, lung cancer, as well as pancreatic, ovarian, and brain. Some of the most virulent cancers out there we're especially effective in. In fact, our recent studies have proven something that you'll find very interesting. Our hypothesis was we could put cells into a prolonged non-dividing state. That means stopping them from growing. In this first slide you can see that we implanted a device and treated the animals in the study with our peptides for four weeks continuously and then removed the pump. We wanted to make sure there were no traces of our medicine. What we have found is these cells, as you can see here, did not grow back. We went to a more robust study at one of the best uh, laboratories or CROs, TD2 out in Arizona with Dan Van Hoff. We increased the tumor burden 200% and then tried treating those with our cytostatic approach to treating cancer. And you know what? were every bit as effective as the best pancreatic cancer on the market currently with none of the side effects. We can extend life, improve quality of life, and help the patients get better. Again, a different way of looking at cancer, cytostatic therapy as opposed to chemotherapy. The cost of pancreatic cancer is amazing. It cost last year $1.4 billion to treat pancreatic cancer. This is an expensive disease. They, all diseases are, are expensive, but pancreatic cancer, it mutates quickly, it kills you quickly, so the physicians have to try cocktails, combinations of drugs, different ways of approaching this, and it's going to continue to get more expensive. As you see, by 2020, the cost will be $1.8 billion. This is a huge market and it's an unmet need. The patients don't get care that really makes a difference or that helps them and we can change that. We all have prices on our head. It's hard to imagine that payers have limits to what they'll pay for to treat patients, but they do. They're in business and we understand that. It cost about fifty to a hundred thousand dollars a year for what's called YLG, life, year life gained. And that that's amazing that they can tell you if it's more than fifty or a hundred thousand dollars a year, payers aren't gonna pay it for that therapy. Um, a retail course of some of the more exotic and effective drugs can cost up to a half million dollars a year. Patients are paying $3,000, $10,000 a month out of pocket plus their coverage. They've changed the way they get reimbursed for these drugs so that doctors at risk. This is an, an incredible burden on the healthcare system. We have a better approach. We've reduced the size of our peptides from that 126 original amino acid down to 37. In a process of drug <clears throat> optimization, we now are down to eight amino acids. It's very safe, it's easy to manufacture, very stable. It gives us a new way to treat patients. Instead of sitting in a chemotherapy chair for nine hours, at a time, we can do an injection and your doctor can see you on a weekly basis to make sure you're compliant, progressing, and feeling better. There's a broad market out there. We are especially effective in the virulent cancers, pancreatic and ovarian, because there's a high receptor factor for our particular peptide. But we work well in breast cancer. I, I don't know if you know it, but there was recently a retrospective study released to the public that says most of the standard of care, the anthracyclines, not only don't treat the tumor effectively, but they cause cardiac insult or cytotoxicity. That means you didn't get any benefit of the drug and you may suffer heart damage. That's an incredible risk and we feel because our peptides are manufactured in the heart that we can help eliminate that risk to patients and treat those subpopulations like topo2s and triple negatives the way they deserve to be treated in a more humane manner and make their life better. Ovarian cancer is another unmet medical need and a median survival time of 4.7 years. If you're a young woman and you have ovarian cancer, you get radiation, 
you get chemotherapy, you get surgery, but you don't get to have a family. Because we're a cytostatic, we believe the integrity of your ability to have a family is very, very important. By treating this disease in a manner that will shrink the tumors without sacrificing your ability to have a family, we believe that's very important. And again, a way to change the way patients are treated, which is what Kalos believes in. The Kalos solution starts here. Most of you are used to looking at Patients that have had chemotherapy, those cancer patients are emaciated and, and suffering in incredible pain. What you don't realize in these abdominal cancers, look at this slide. This is a patient that has abdominal cancer. They have suffered organ failure, bloating, ascites. They're in incredible pain. They don't want to go out. They feel freakish. They don't want to be seen looking like this. We've proven in, with our clinical experience that we can increase naturesis and diuresis four to five fold. By tailoring this targeted approach for patients, we can help reduce the swelling that comes with organ failure and ascites. That's going to reduce pain. That's going to increase quality of life. It's going to extend life because you're, you're going to have your appetite back. You're going to feel better. You're going to be more active. So we don't just treat the cancer. We treat the entire patient. That's what we believe in at Kalos, making a difference, changing the quality of life, improving health care in a more economic manner. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me at Kalos. Remember, we're a cytostatic, we're less toxic, we're safer, and we can improve the quality of your life today. Thank you.